So liver cancer is the uh, fifth leading cause of cancer worldwide and the second leading cause of cancer death worldwide. It's a pretty deadly disease. However, there are many um, cases of cure if it's caught early. Uh, we have a very strong uh, surveillance program here at New York Presbyterian and this is for detecting the cancer early and it's recommended for patients who, do, who are found to have viral hepatitis, which is the number one cause both hepatitis B and hepatitis C. And once they are found to actually have developed a cancer, they immediately see both the gastroenterologist and myself, as well as other parts of the team, to tailor certain therapies, which may include removal of the tumor, which in certain cases is enough, or if the cancers are found in a very advanced stage, um, they again are offered um, pretty cutting edge therapies including injection therapies, chemoembolization, um, as well as chemotherapies and lately the newer therapies which are called targeted therapies and which are very low toxicity therapies aimed to stabilize the disease, make life livable with the disease, waiting for the next best therapy which is often what is needed to be able to live with cancer. Liver cancers are a growing epidemic in the United States. Chronic liver infection from hepatitis B or hepatitis C is a main cause of liver cancer. But in the United States, also a main cause of liver cancer is alcohol and obesity. There's a disease called fatty liver disease, and that leads to chronic inflammation in the liver that increases the risk of liver cancer. Many people don't realize this, but patients who have liver cancer have two diseases, the cancer itself as well as the liver damage. And often a cure for these patients is getting a liver transplant. Uh, we act conjointly with um, team members from the gastroenterology department, from the surgical department, and together we basically plan out very individualized therapies for our patients because patients with liver cancer and honestly any type of cancer, but especially gastrointestinal cancers, uh, have varied presentations or at various stages of their disease. Some are curable, some are not, and we're trying to offer hope even for the patients who seem to have a dismal prognosis by having contacts with uh, academia across the country, with pharmaceutical companies, and we are able to offer them the best hope, we think. In addition to that, um, we're developing clinical trials, so we're going to be opening several new trials in the coming months. Um, as many patients probably know, and they hear it on the evening news, therapies are coming out on a monthly basis, if not weekly basis, and many of these new therapies are in the disease areas that we treat, which are gastrointestinal uh, tumors. Um, and these have significantly improved patient survival, uh, quality of life, and we are able to offer them these new therapies.